Welcome to the New Zealand 2021 Spearfishing Nationals, from my point of view. Yo, Charlie, I'll push it, you pull. Our plan for this morning was to swim out to the headland and carry on towards the pinnacle. As you can see, we weren't the only ones with this idea in mind. The diving conditions are great both days in terms of visibility and fish. Really allowing for people to kind of show what they're made of. First up, you want to try to take off the easy fish. So here we see a four eye, pretty easy to approach, pretty easy to shoot. Poro are very common on weed lines in the northern parts of the Coromandel, quite prolific even. They grow quite large in size, but most of the ones we we're seeing this day were on the smaller side. I have seen them get up to probably 20 pounds, like some real big ones. Eventually we make it out to our pinnacle, and as you can see there's krill everywhere fish everywhere, blue mamo, cohero, absolutely just smashing the krill. But aside from that, not a whole lot else to be honest. After a brief stay to see if anything would come through, we decided to head back into shore. A couple hundred meters swim with our tails between our legs. Just hoping to find a better variety of fish. While swimming around, I came across this fish, an inscribed wrasse. I've only ever seen a couple of these, and this is the largest I've seen. I was swimming around, like bullying the other fish, like real aggressive. But they're a cool fish nonetheless, very beautiful. And like, they really stand out amongst the other fish. Over the weekend of nationals, we got to dive some pretty cool spots. The first day was on the northern tip of Great Mercury Island, and the second day was on Cuvia. So some pretty epic diving. Here is a butterfish in a gut that I chased. And it actually has a shot taken out of the top of it by me earlier. But I get another shot into it, secure the fish. We came across a spot with a rock sticking out of the water, which is holding quite a few pink mouths in the deep water around it. So I'm making a dive here. And like my idea is to get close to them slowly. It's going to be too threatening. I'm going to stay slow, pick out a nice one, and then get a shot off into him. Here is another video featuring the very beautiful pink mama. So I can see it from the surface and I make a dive slowly, gliding down towards it. After shooting, my primary goal is to get the fish to the surface. So I begin my ascent and crawl on the line, getting the fish out of the weeds. I think this is a good example of how grunts can be used to attract fish or at least get them more interested. That's enough to get this curry to stick around just long enough to get a shot into them. Quite a nice size as well. While I did bring my camera to the national spearfishing event, my sole focus certainly wasn't on that. I was primarily focused on diving and photography, or videography rather, came second. Out of 27 teams that competed the Nationals Open Division, we ended up finishing 12th overall. So we we're pretty happy with that obviously. Room for improvement, definitely, but good effort overall and it paid off. I'm swimming about in a school of blue Mau Mau. Visibility is obscured both of me and my target, this Trevally here. We're just hanging out just on the outside of them. So I'm waiting for it to come in and present me a shot while I'm trying to keep my gun trained on it. It moves around quite a bit, but I managed to take a shot and then actually stone this fish. Quite a nice size Trevally. In this video I'm making a dive down on top of some Cohera, some quite big ones. Take a shot on this one, I'm not going to lie, it was a pretty terrible shot. It's just above the gut and it's barely holding at this point. So what I'm trying to do is just have as little tension on it as possible, like really play this fish out. 
So fast forward literally a couple minutes later and I finally get this fish up to the surface after letting it run every time it needs to like that and just having as little pressure on it as possible. And you can see there the shot is barely holding. But nonetheless I managed to play this fish out and get it into my hands by not rushing it. I'm swimming along and a school of cohera comes below me, really lit up, so I take a dive to see what's there. Pretty much straight away I knew I had a bad shot on this fish, I couldn't see my shark coming out the other side, and by the way the fish was biting, I could tell it hit the spine, I knew I'd taken a long shot on it. So similar to the Kohero, I'm going to try and play this fish out and call hey, out to my buddy shot. to give me a second shot. Charlie, second shot! I need a second shot! Go! Alright, so I'm trying to keep this fish here but not apply too much pressure. But you also don't want to let it run entirely, it will get you into the reef. So here you can see it picks up again. As you see Charlie descending down to take a shot. Charlie goes down and secures the second shot on the fish. Well done, easy shot, it's important to take it quickly. You want to minimise the amount of time that fish is right on the end of your line where you're applying full pressure, trying to stop it from escaping. Once I get my gun to the surface and I know Charlie's taking some of the pressure, I make a dive down. Swim up to this fish and grab it by the tail and then swim it to the surface. When I get this fish up to the surface, Charlie helps me out and grabs a hold of it in the gills. I get out my knife at this point and put it through the fish's head. All the fish shot in this tournament were auctioned off and donated to a local charity. So while it is a shame so many fish being shot, it is going to a good cause at the end of the day. At the prize giving on the end of the second day, me and Charlie won a trophy for the best novice team that year. And that's the highest placing team that hadn't competed in one of these events before. This video here is the last dive I did of the day. It was the only one I really took to just enjoy diving for the sake of it as opposed to really trying to shoot something. So I was just laying on the bottom enjoying my time, last dive of the day, and just happy with the weekend overall, just enjoying it. This dive was at 18 meters and I was down for about 2 minutes, so hold your breath. Anyway, I'll leave you with this one. Thanks for watching. All right.